The Steve Crow Show. Right, the moment you have been waiting for. Yes, it's Tom Fitzpatrick on the show. He's live. Hi, Tom. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks, mate. And yourself? Yeah, that's you, bad. Excellent. I'm glad you're here. Now, unfortunately, you won't be singing live this evening, though. Not this evening, no. I'm, I'm resting my voice. I've got a gig tomorrow, and I'm still not 100%. You're a bit cold. Man flu. Oh, oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've had, I've had this sort of cough for over a month now, and then it's ended, ended up with a cold as well, so it's all... All piling on top of me. It's, it's a great. shame, but you could have you could have said, Steve, I'm not coming, but here no, you are. I wanted to be here. Yeah, trek through. Love it. Right, so here we go then. So according to uh, my um, stalking, we'll call it stalking, yeah, right. um, you are a local celebrity and youngest crooner at 21. I am, yeah, I don't know about the local celebrity bit, but I'm, I'm the youngest crooner. Take it, take <laughs> it. You can get a t-shirt with local okay, celebrity right. as well. And how did you get? How did you get into crooning? Because most people are. Because you are a young. You, you, you're 21. You are young. Yeah. Me, I'm going back to the 80s. I wanted to be the lead singer of Curiosity Killed the Cat or Duran yeah. Duran. Yeah. I, I'm thinking sort of Plan B example. Um. And you're singing Frank Sinatra. Where? Where's? I it? do. I do like all that stuff. Um. I mean, a lot of people think because I sing this, they think, oh, I must be only into the crooner music. But um, I just started it out because I thought it was something different, and my voice suited that style of music. Yeah. I liked. I, I mean. I shouldn't really admit this, but when I watched the X Factor years ago, I quite I quite enjoyed watching Ray Quinn when he did all the crooner music yes. and everything. He was really good at that. Yeah. And I thought um, it was a bit of a niche in the market with a young person singing crooner music and swing music because it's a lot of older guys doing it, and there is a lot a lot doing it, but yep. they're all a bit older. So I thought, give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah. So the niche in the market is I'm 21 and I can sing. Well, I was 18 when I started. Yeah. Jesus, so. mental. So. The, the Michael Bubble, as I like to call yeah. him, but is the, tr- the tribute act side, because I, I see that you do Eastbourne Bandstand gigs and stuff like that. Is- yeah, I did that for the first time. That was amazing. Um, that was my first ever Michael Bublé tribute act ever. I'd not done it before. Never? No, I just thought I'd give it a go. Well, I don't do Bublé tribute, really. I don't put myself out as a tribute, but Eastbourne Council asked me if I wanted to do it. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, it'd be great, because you get... It's a big audience there at the bandstand. Yeah. And um, I thought, if I got local support, see how it goes. And it, yeah, it went really well. We had just over 700 there that night. It was the biggest gate of the year. Excellent. So I'm liking great. it. Top of the tree, early doors. Nice. Right. Next question is, now, uh, a little birdie tells me, Broadway, what's this? Yeah, I sang at a um, a place called Don't Tell Mamas in New York in Broadway, which yep. is a place where they have a lot of professional singers. I've had a lot of celebrity professional singers. This is there. New York. This is in New York. This yeah. isn't in Hamden Park, Broadway. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, um, I mean, I sang karaoke once in Broadway, but this was a bit different. Right. Um, it was a, yeah, it was a very very famous bar on Broadway, and uh, I managed to get a slot there to do a couple of songs with the the uh, the piano player there, who's yep. quite a famous guy around that area. And uh, yeah, I got a call back to do some more songs. As well, so that was great. Excellent, excellent, and and one more before we go to a track. Yeah. Um, according to uh, my sources, uh, right. my stalker sources, right? You have you <laughs> have sung you have sung to some VIP guests. Yes. So when I'm talking VIP, we're talking celebrities here. So so can you tell me who they were they and were, where that was? Uh, I can. Yeah, they were like um, you know they're not A list celebrities. Take but to me, I was like, oh. <laughs> um, they one of the guys was a guy who's a. Uh, uh, interviewer for um, MTV called yeah. Johnny Pash and he does a lot of TV work as well so if you sort of Google him you might recognise him Yeah. Uh, and then another guy was the guy from years ago he was like my hero when I used to watch the programme Get Your Own Back Get do you remember it. the guy who used to present it Get Your um, Own Back no I don't remember it I can't remember his name I'll remember it in a second but um, he was like amazing and I just remember it as being as a kid and he was at this event I was at where it was a big opening for this place and they had a few different celebrities and yeah. stuff and they had like Miss England and Miss World or something like that yeah and um, and yeah, he was there as well. And I was like, "Oh, Dave Benson Phillips, that's it." And oh, I was I like the amazed because uh, yeah, I remember him when I was a kid. Excellent. So so, what track are we going to go for first? Fill us in. Where are we going first? We're going for a track from my Crooner album, my first yeah. sort of debut studio recorded album, and it's uh, by Michael Bublé. Yeah. More recently, called "It Had Better Be Tonight." Right. Okay. So here we go then. Um, Tom Fitzpatrick singing this. Enjoy. He'll be back for some more questions from me very soon. Melissa said, I, baby, go, go, go. Or as we net have say, Faso be told. If you're ever gonna kiss me, it had better be tonight. 
While the mandolins are playing And stars are bright If you've anything to tell me It had better be tonight Or somebody else may tell me And whisper the words just right Melia Sucera, baby Go, go, go Or as we need to say Faço bito If you're ever gonna hold me It had better be tonight Or somebody else may hold me They might make me feel just right Melia Sucera, baby Go, go, go Or as we need to say Faço Bito speech Be a nice Italiana and start to teach Show me high, oh Milano Lovers hold each other tight Cause I watch you sweet Pajana Sera, baby, go, go, go. Or as we need to say, Faso Vito. What a star that is. Thank you. Good track to pick. Impressive. Very, very impressive. So that was you doing your crooner album, right? Yes, that's on my 14-track crooner album, which I sell at my gigs every hour ago. Excellent. What a star that is. I tell you what, you've got to try and top that now. Thank you. So, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell you what, we'll do a bit of train, drops of Jupiter, maybe a bit of bubble, a bit of adverts, and then he's back yeah. with another track. You up for that? Yeah, I'm up for that. Excellent Great. news. Now that she's back in the air. Ugfield FM. If you've only just joined us, you've missed the first bit of Tom Fitzpatrick's in the building. Get in the ledge that is. Right, one down and three yes. to go. Right, more questions from me now. Okay. Worry. Are you ready? Um, no. <laughs> no, these are good ones. It's the ones okay. on the back you've got to worry about. Oh, okay, right. Um, what is the most comical thing that has happened to you at a gig? Oh. Anything um, you like. Oh, that's a weird one. I'm on the spot. Um... I had, there is one gig in particular which is a bit strange because I, uh, people have to walk past me to go to the toilet, which is directly behind me, so oh, I'm nice. singing and I've got people walking in and out of the toilet <laughs> as they go past me, which is a strange one, yeah. Um, I don't know really, I, I, had, I had a woman at the bandstand manage to get up on stage and um, start dancing around behind me and the security was pretty high at the bandstand yeah. you know and they were like sniffing people's drinks before they were not allowed to come in unless you know it was what, such high security and yet this yeah. woman managed to get on the stage dancing around behind me we had so much electrics up there loads of band members yeah and I had a split second in the song what, when I was singing to turn around to tell us to get off so I had to be really firm and just like moved away from the mic I had two seconds in between songs just go get off and then sing again <laughs> and she did in fact there's a YouTube video of me at the bandstand and you can see it happening oh. so when you look at YouTube video of me on the bandstand I you'll have see seen it. that but I haven't watched it all the way through now oh, I'm gonna look out for it in, it's in the, the first song on there the It Better Be Tonight and uh, she gets up on the stage and you see me just quickly look at her and then look back and it's me telling her to get excellent off. like it yeah. uh, next one what is your favourite track um, of the crooner music it doesn't have to be your own I I like singing um, Cry Me River and I also like singing Feeling Good ah the dum um, dum dum yeah dum. they're really atmospheric yeah and so I do like to sing them for the, especially at the beginning of gigs and stuff okay uh, next question what would your ultimate gig be 
and where would it be? <laughs> Are we talk- I'm, I'm talking think big. Yeah. Think big, not... <laughs> um, I would... Well, it'd be great to fill out the O2 yes, or something like that. Yes, there I mean, we go. Yeah, there we go. You knew that was coming, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> uh, that would be great. Look yeah. what I've wrote next to that. I bet you put it, haven't you? O2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Genius. Yeah, just for example. <laughs> but I knew I'd say that. <laughs> um, who would you most like to meet and why? Um, I would like to meet... Oh, I don't know. See, people probably expect me to say Frank Sinatra or Michael Bublé. I would like to meet Michael Bublé. Yeah. But um, I also am very into Foo Fighters and I like Dave Grohl. Oh, yes. So I'd also, I went to see them and I was very close when I went to see them. Very, uh, M- very close. Milton Keynes? Yeah, that's where I was. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Quality. Really like it. Next one. Um, what one thing would you request in your dressing room if you were a diva? Um... <laughs> That's a weird one. Well, it's usually it'd be something to do with food, because I eat a lot. And I have a weird obsession with eating sweet corn with everything. I have noodles and sweet corn together. Right. In a bowl. And I quite like that. That's I, like my favourite we, thing to eat. We've got no sweet corn up here. No. So well, you that's have what to... I have. <laughs> <laughs> sweet well, I'm corn. Yeah. So you're a diva and I'm going to ask for sweet a corn. Sweet Everyone corn. to themselves. Yeah, no, it's quality. Yeah, you can play any time you like. Yeah. And and the, and the last one. Um, can you play a musical instrument? Yes, I play the drums. Drums? Yeah. But I had to stop that because even though I had an electric drum kit up in my room, which is ridiculously quiet, yep. mum and dad are still like, no, we can hear the bass thumping through the floor, we're trying to watch the telly. So I had to get rid of it. So are you going to drop drums on any of your tracks? I was asked to. Uh, well, the, the studio I go to, which I've got most of these songs recorded, the MP yep. Studios, yep. Um, they asked me would I like to, and I thought, I would like to, but I'm, they've got much better drummers that could do it. I'd rather it sound great, you know, than it. Oh, no, but you'd got to musicians going, are better than me. I might do a little fill or something on yeah, the Yeah, use drums, the, like, write the theme things. tune, sing the theme yeah. tune, play the drums <laughs> on the theme tune, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might do. I think you should. Okay. I think you should, right? Questioning over, give me the next track, where are we going? This this next track is a first debut track with me and my trio that I'm going to be gigging with next year. And these right. musicians are unreal session musicians. I've got that down here. Yes, they're unbelievable. <laughs> um, Ollie Borman, Tom Phelan and Dan Humphreys. Yep. Uh, we've got keyboard, drums and bass and myself singing. And we're doing our own version of the Frank Sinatra classic, Night and Day. Right, OK, so let's play it then. Uh, stay tuned for Tommy's He's coming uh, more and more and more. Uh, two more tracks to come. Uh, enjoy this. Uh, man's a ledge. Absolute ledge.
it's no matter, darling, where you are, I think of you. Day and night, night and day, why is it so that this longing for you follows wherever I go? In the roaring traffic's boom, in the silence of my lonely room, I think of you. Such a hungry yearning burning inside of me And this torment won't be through Till you let me spend my life making love to you Day and night, night and day uh, Round of applause, round of applause Thank you. May I just say, um, Val, wake, welcome into the show she, She's emailed and she's She's messaging on webcam chat. Val, yeah. that doesn't surprise me. You sound Hello, fantastic. <laughs> uh, you deserve to go far. She says she's bought your CD. She has, yeah. I've, yeah, Val comes to a lot of my gigs, actually. And you've told me she's appeared in the video as well. She's appeared in the in the KISSING video, yes. Excellent. She was one of the extras in the, in the bar scene that we had. So Val's cleaning up. Excellent. <laughs> welcome in, Val. Welcome in. Uh, so let's do a bit of Julian Cope, I think. World shut your mouth. Uh, we'll do a bit of the kooks, and then we're going um, on to Tom's new tracks. K-O-S and I-N-G, and Sugar Girl. Oh, yeah. It's the Steve Crow Show live, and I'm Phil Firm. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. It's Friday Eve. Uh, Tom Fitzpatrick's still here. He's still in the house. He's still here. Loving every minute, loving every loving minute. It. Right, okay. Now we're on to the new stuff. Okay. Six track album. Funk yes. slash swing sound, is so it said. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it is. I want to make the songs not just the typical sort of crew in the swing, but a bit more funky now as well. Nice little drum bits in there and guitar riffs and stuff. Excellent. Okay, and, and obviously we spoke about the experienced band that you're with. Yes. And they're obviously all doing the rest. So K I S S I N G, they're on that, are they? Or is uh, it no, just not the crew stuff? Um, a lot of the studio musicians are doing a lot of the music for my CD, this. Yeah. But I'm sure that my band members will be performing it when I do performances. Excellent. Yeah. Next question, inspiration, because obviously you wrote these yourself, right? Yeah. So inspiration, where'd you get that? Are you sit in a dark room, do you put <laughs> cucumber over your eyes? How's it's it work? It's really weird. I don't, I, I just sort of, um, just come up with it, really. Um, I would never have, like, some, some people have something that happens to them and they have to suddenly sit down and start writing. Yeah. I'm just one of those, I'll just, if I'll... I have to listen to the music first a lot of the time and I can bring lyrics to it and I, I usually uh, songs are just uh, things situations that I make up in my mind I just use my imagination and yeah. some things are on real life but yeah excellent so uh, <coughs> I understand you've you've got a new website being built as we speak is yes, it yes it goes live next year January which is www.tomfitzpatrickentertainments.com oh entertainments.com entertainments, yeah. love it and and can we can we book you on that website yeah people can get in touch with me on that website if they want to book me if they want to see my gig list where I am as well as my Facebook page yep. um, if people have Facebook then I'm on Facebook just type in Tom Fitzpatrick crooner yep. and I'm on there and uh, I'll add as many people as I like excellent and on Twitter Rob as Twitter well, because well, that's, yeah. that's how we got in touch. Yeah, Twitter, um, yeah. We have a, we've had a couple of questions come in. Okay. So let me just read these off to you. Has Tom had vocal training or just a born singer? And where did he get his first break? That's a good question. Um, I've never had a singing lesson, actually, in my life, but I um, I just started singing just to see how it would go. And, I, you know, if I was rubbish, I'd soon found out. My grandma and granddad are very... They'll tell me if I'm rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> They're very, uh, yeah, they let me know. Um, but no, I haven't had any singing lessons. I do need some lessons on breathing techniques. I've yep. had one about that. I need some more just to make sure I'm using my voice the right way. OK, uh, what football team do you support? I support Everton FC. Everton Woo! FC. Yes, You're my blue. family are from Liverpool, so <laughs> the, the real, the true team in Liverpool is Everton, and that's what I support. I think it was them that sent that email Probably. in. Probably, they just want me to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Everton, Everton, not yeah, on this show. I'm a Liverpool supporter. Fourth What's place going on? in the league at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I'm going to cut, cut your mic. I'm going to cut your mic. And uh, someone else has put, uh, I know that you're based in Eastbourne, but will we... Will we ever see you venture to Derby? Well, I think I know who's sent that question in because they've called themselves Frolin. Yes. And that is sort of give it away. So if, if it is Macy out there saying that, you know that I'm probably going to do a gig in Derby soon. So yes, Excellent. Uh, possibly next year. I've got some bookings up there, so that'd be cool. Okay, so the next track, where are we going to go with it? 
Next track is my debut single that I wrote myself. Yes. Um, K I S S I N G, which has the music video on YouTube that people can check out. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's the sort of, of the the new style that I've gone for. The so. new style, love it. I've, I've played this track for the last yeah, few weeks have, yeah. as well. Yeah, it's smashing it. Smashing it. Great. Uh, so let's play it again. It's K I S N I N G. Tom if I play. Go. <laughs> And I won't run and you can't see along these noisy streets again you Don't even have the time to say hello It's been a gone now Take you back in time If you wait in line and close your eyes Such you recognize Got a feeling that you took my heart and nose It's time to go now Head down, low ground Ricochet, so they say You and me, in a tree K-I-S-S-I-N-G Made and packed away, you've had your stay Moving on to another day Heart beating fast, but mind going slow I can't keep up now When we speak or when we meet Or will you keep me in your memories? Wanna hold your hand and never let it go It's time to go now Head down, low ground Ricochet, so they say You and me, then a tree K-I-S-S-I-N-G Head down Low ground, ricochet, so they say, you and me, in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. K-I-S-S-I-N-G Head down, low ground Ricochet, so they say You and me In a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G Can't find and I won't run And you can't see along these noisy streets again Don't even have the time to say hello It's been gone now Take you back in time If you're waiting in line And close your eyes And touch you recognize Got a feeling that you took my heart and nose It's K-I-S-S-I-N-G That's the tune, that's the first one So what is that? That's your first penned track, is it, by you? Um, it's, it's not, no, it's not It's actually, it's just the first one that I've sort of released Really, I've wrote some songs before that, but it's the one I thought, right, let's get it out there. All right, excellent, it's a good start. So we've got one more to come before uh, 10 o'clock, hopefully. We're going to do a few adverts, and then Tom will be back with uh, Sugar Girl. Yes. Excellent news. The Steve Crow Show. Uggfield FM. Here we go. <laughs> you got the last one, right? Yeah. <laughs> well done, well done. Uh, question's over, well done. Right, so let's have, let's have this last track. What we got? Uh, this song is my de- this is a debut play of it, actually. This is the first time it's being played to people. I've First got, time. I've got, got the, an exclusive. You've got the exclusive for this. We, um, we and love it. It's exclusive. my new song called Sugar Girl. Excellent. So this, uh, here it is, Sugar Girl, uh, Tom Fitzpatrick. All these visions of us together It's not funny, it's not clever But it's working She's got me smiling Inside I'm sighing Tapping to my self-control Cause now we're standing toe-to-toe I feel like I'm dreaming She's got a name that's so in the way she speaks Kicking you off Your own routine She's got the pull of the tide Oh, and there she goes Sugar girl It's time to leave this place behind Besides, it's colder When you're lonely And I'm not there To take your hand Just fell into my life tonight. You're reading the 
that's what I give her Did I look okay in my dress Cause I was feeling like a mess You must be joking She's got me writing Pen and paper fighting Never wrote a song before About a girl that I adore But now it's happening She's got the name that's so unique Beautiful face and the way she speaks Kicking you off your old routine She's got the pull of the tides Oh, and there she goes Sugar girl, it's time to leave this place behind So it's colder Exclusive on the Steve Crow Show, Sugar Girl. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love the exclusive. No, thanks ever so much for being on. You're an absolute Thank you, mate. It's been brilliant. You've been a star guest, as always. Stay in touch with this show. Please do not leave. Anything new you get, I yeah. want to know about it. I will do. And before I go, thank you very much. And everyone, please check me out on Facebook. Tom Fitzpatrick Crooner. Yeah, get on Facebook. Find him on Twitter. If you're floating around Eastbourne, look out for the man. He's an absolute gem. Thanks ever so much much for being on. No, thank Thank you. you. Tom Fitzpatrick. The Steve Crow Show. Uckfield FM.